So there's been an update to your Kodi. So we're going to show you how to install the latest Kodi, the working Kodi on your Fire Sticks, streaming devices, get it installed, get it set up. Currently, as it stands, this is version 20.3. OK, version 20.3. But this video will show you how to install all the latest versions as we go through. So the same process will go bit by bit. I'm going to show you how to install it. Then we get it open, get it all set up. So for those of you who don't know, Kodi is a media player. You can install it on your device, run your own media, run other media, run off media servers. It's a complete official app in the Google Play Store, and we can put it on our Fire Sticks and Fire TV devices as well. Obviously, hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and let's just get it installed then. So if you're doing this on a Fire Stick, um, it can be on Android TV as well, but we demonstrate on the Fire Stick, we need to install an application called Downloader. So go to your magnifying glass, type in here, type Downloader. D O W N and you will see downloader come up underneath. You can click that and click and get it installed. While it's installing, if you need to pause this video, once it is installed, don't open it yet. Back to your home screen, go all the way across to settings, go down to my fire TV and you need to go into developer options. If you do not have developer options on your device, there's a video in the description on how to get developer options. Open this one up, turn on ADB debugging on, install unknown apps, turn it on for downloader. Okay, that means we can install from my website, which is where we're gonna do it, onto your device. Perfect. Now what you're gonna do is go back to your home screen and you need to find this downloader app. If you cannot see it on your screen, go to these three squares and the plus, my apps, and it will be in here somewhere, okay? All in here. Mine's at the top there, so I'm gonna open it up. Once you open up Downloader, you must accept the permissions for it to download the files onto computer. If you deny the permissions, you'll be commenting underneath, it's not working, it's not installing. Okay. Then you're gonna enter this URL or search term, which is 75726. That's in the description underneath, as well as the full link, which is docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads. Either of those can be put into this bar here, and then you push go. This will load through to my website. While we wait, it's a good time for you to hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and drop me a comment underneath as well, even if it's just to say hello. Right, once here, we're onto my downloads page. You can scroll down. If it pops up asking for consent or anything like that for cookies, that's just due to Google adverts, just accept them. Scroll down. And at the top, you will see new updates, new APKs, Kodi 20.3. Um, Android 32-bit version is for your Fire Stick. There is a 64-bit version which can be used on high-powered Android TV and NVIDIA Shields. If you do not see them here, that means you're watching this video at a bit of a later date. Scroll down a little bit further, just to media players, and they'll be here as well, okay? So you can click on the 32-bit version. If an advert does pop up, hit close. And it's really simple. People say, oh, it's really hard to find the download. You just scroll down to the big gray download button. You push it and that will install onto your device for you. There we go. Once this comes up, we can then click on install. You can click done. And then you delete this file, okay? This is the download file you do not need anymore, just the install file. You've already installed the application now. You can delete this file because it just takes up space on your device. Brilliant. That is now Kodi 20.3 installed on your device or whichever version is the latest version. You can then go and find it again, three squares and the plus, my apps and find your Kodi in here. Most likely be at the bottom. Click it open. And again, it's another one which will require access to your media. You have to accept this for it to work, for it to be able to play your media. You push continue. You push while using this app is fine and allow. And as you'll see in the middle there, Kodi version 20.3 Nexus, the latest version is now installed on your device. If you're installing this over a previous version of Kodi 20, it will install fine. You won't lose anything. You may lose builds if you go from maybe Kodi 19 to 20, depending on if they're compatible or not, or depends what you have installed on your device. This is just the main operating system. So you can upgrade yours or install it as fresh and then have yourself a little play around with it and install your own media. Brilliant. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. That was quite a quick one there for you. We got it installed really quickly. Um, if anyone wants to see how to install it as well, we have got older versions of doing this sort of video. It's been on 
our channel for quite a while. It's just installing it. The thing is, we are not showing you is how to install um, third party movies, bypass payments or anything like that. We are just showing you how to install the media player. A media player you can use to run your own media or if you store your own media online, anything like that. OK, the rest of the videos here as well, if you want some more streaming content, whether it's for your Roku, your Fire Stick, your Android TV, come check out the channel. We're nearly at 600,000 subscribers, depending on when you're watching this video. Brilliant. And a quick word for one of our partners. Now we've done all the install. We mention our partner at the end because this does help us do what we do. We are offering IP Vanish VPN for those who need a VPN at one of the cheapest prices on the Internet. $2.99 a month linked underneath for you with 77% off that price is subject to change so do check it out underneath but it will always be linked the best one this is good protection for your fire tv android tv streaming apps add-ons downloads and more these are all linked under there we do get a small commission which helps us do what we do it will protect your fire tv traffic secure your streaming activity simplify online safety surf the web without a trace all linked underneath for you all at the best deal and you only have to buy one account and you can put it on all your streaming devices on pretty much all the devices you access the internet on perfect that's linked underneath for you and i'm out of here hope you enjoy that video we'll be back in the next couple of days with a new one hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe drop me a comment and i'll see you soon